Hi everyone, this is Diane. So I am on here to share with you my holiday wreath for a collab that Karen and Seth are hosting. Um, I think they opened the collab uh, maybe a week or so ago and they were just asking any of their subscribers if they wanted to be a part of this collab and I'm like, you know what, I've never ever been in any part of collab. I'm like, let me go ahead and take advantage of this one here. So I went ahead and emailed them and let them know that I wanted to take part in the collab. So in the description box, you will see everyone else that's taking part in the collab. So I think it's a perfect time to get um, ideas and um, inspiration to make wreaths because honestly, I've never even made a wreath before. So this is a holiday wreath and I decided to make a Christmas wreath. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Because I've never made one before. So I decided that I was going to, going to be paper because I love paper. So um, I bought this paper pad here. And this was 20, no, it was, who was it? 40% off or 50% off? I don't remember. But this I got at Joann's. Uh, Michaels has a great selection of this paper. Now this is not cardstock. This is actual just paper. And this has 180 sheets and I think it was like 50% off and then it had an additional 20 entire purchase. So I think I paid like $10 for the entire pack, which is 180 sheets, which I also plan to use with pocket letters that I'm working on. But anyway, real quickly, there's three sheets of everything and there's just a variety of paper that you can use for the holidays and not holidays. So that's why I like this paper pad. Michaels also has theirs on sale and they have a nicer selection but I had gone to Michaels after Joann's and I'm like I don't feel like going back I don't feel like returning this so I went ahead and just kept this one but Michaels does have a great selection of paper pads cardstock and regular paper okay so that's so mine is going to be all on paper so this was like ten dollars then you need like these little stick pins they're tiny um, with a small little head of the pins. So I needed stick pins for that so I got these at Walmart and I think they were like $2.39 for this whole thing. Um, what else did I get? So the paper, the ring from Dollar Tree was a dollar and then this. So, so far I spent like $14 and I think that was the final cost. So basically what you do is that you get six sheets of this paper and it works better if it's double sided. I learned that but that's okay. So you get six sheets of the different paper that you want and you're going to cut them into one and a half inch strips. So this is crooked. This is the one I, this was the leftover one that I threw in the trash actually. I didn't use it, but um, one and a half inch strips. So you can use a bone folder, bone tool, which I don't know, people call it different things. Um, you can use this, but I actually wasn't liking it. I used the letter opener. And all you do is get the paper and it curls up. It starts curling up. Well, it should curl up. So you should curl up like that on both sides. Well, I have to get another piece because that one didn't curl up. It should curl up like that. And you just do it on both sides. And you're going to end up with papers that look like this or something similar to that. So, you see, this is what was left over. So I have all of these because my wreath is a little bit smaller. I didn't get like a 12 inch or 14 inch wreath. I think mine's a 10. So you're going to end up with papers that look just like this. And you're going to take these papers and you're going to adhere it to the wreath with a pin in the center. And you just start adding it all around the wreath. So then the final product will look like this. So this is my final wreath right here. Okay, right here. So as you can see, it is all paper. And you can kind of see like the, the ring. So this is a ring, the back of the ring. You definitely don't want to put anything in the back because then you won't be able to hang it. But when you hang it up or if you look at it, you won't be able to see the ring at all if you're looking at it face to face but if you have it down here you might be able to see a part of the ring but that's okay but all of this is paper and it's adhered with these little stick pins and then these are also I cut them out from the actual paper pad as well you are free to add whatever you want you can even add stickles to this to make it shimmery you can add glitter anything you want to make it your wreath but I just wanted to keep it simple 
and just use the paper pad and that's it. So this wreath is created by with six sheets of the paper and two cutouts and that's it. So this is my wreath. This is my wreath for this collab. So I hope you like it. It's my very, very first wreath. I've never done a wreath before and I decided to use something that I have a lot of is paper even though I went out and bought some. I wanted it to be the $20 that was the challenge with Seth Worth. So this is my wreath and I cannot wait to see everybody else's wreath and don't forget to check out everybody's wreath. Alrighty guys, that's it. I hope everybody has a great weekend and we'll definitely chit chat on the next video. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.